Hidden Vedas of Alchemy Capital Management uh, is with us now. Hidden Morning, uh, what do you think? It's still range bound and we need to grind here for a few more months. Uh, or do you think the market has turned the corner uh, this month? Well, I think, uh, Udyan, I think we must uh, understand that uh, it's now almost over a year since the markets have endured bad news. You know, we peaked somewhere in November 2010 at about 6200. And then we've been kind of grinding lower for almost about a year now to 47, 47, 50 levels. So, and I think what was also important was that most of the investors were also positioned for, uh, you know, uh, very, very conservatively for a very bad news. Typically, people were underweight in India. So I think that uh, it's not surprising that we are seeing some kind of a pullback rally after you know having endured a lot of bad news. Now whether uh, you know whether the worst is over or not, I think uh, I still believe that you know we we are in a base formation process, and and it's going to take a lot of time before uh, we can be confident of breaking out uh, into uh, any new ranges at this point in time. Good morning. So at this point, what would you say may continue to be the feeling for the market as it goes through this consolidatory phase? Well, I think, uh, uh, you know, 53 or 5400 probably is where the market could uh, go at because I think that at that level, given the current circumstances, people would have to justify why they would want to, you know, uh, buy aggressively at, at those levels. So I think that, uh, you know, uh, we are still uh, pretty much in a very, uh, you know, broad range, uh, if you would say between 47, 48 on the downside and, and maybe 54, 55 on, on the upside. And we will have to spend a lot of time before, you know, a lot of the issues that we face both domestically as well as internationally get sorted out. How much time according to you? I mean, would you say a couple of quarters at least out here, Hiren? And typically what do you see in these kind of base formation the periods? Uh, repeated retests of the floor just to be sure that that is holding? Absolutely. I mean, you know, we've gone and tested uh, those levels uh, twice and uh, it would really depend on, you know, once this pullback rally is over, uh, whether we do form a higher bottom. And if we do form a higher bottom, then, then we would say that, yes, probably those levels that we saw at 47, 47, 50 levels are indeed the bottom. But, uh, you know, uh, it, it's still time to, to take a verdict out on that. So I think, I think at least another uh, two quarters, according to me, I think that, uh, uh, you know, uh, there are a few positive things which are uh, panning out at the horizon. I think f finally commodity prices, though still elevated, uh, are probably now reacting more to the overall global demand rather than liquidity like it happened post QE2. So if some of those correlations break, uh, you know, and, and commodities remain subdued for uh, a period of time, then I think that will work, its well, uh, work itself through uh, in terms of inflation and, 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 and therefore interest rates uh, logically. So I think, I think at least another one or two quarters before, uh, you know, uh, is, is this uh, base building process according to me. What's worrying you more about the market now? Any local factors or, I mean, your apprehension that the market does not have too much room above 53, 5400 is predicated more on the global outcome? I think, uh, you know, uh, obviously the overhang of the of what is happening globally will continue to remain. But I think incrementally some of those issues are being addressed. Uh, you know, I don't think they'll, they, you know, you can address them completely because it's going to be a long process of fiscal consolidation for them. But I think what is what is incrementally worrying is uh, is is how we're going to handle the fiscal situation. I think the uh, you know the disinvestment target of 40,000 crores is not going to be met uh, so easily given the current state of the markets. Uh, the fact that uh, the rupee is depreciated 10% and oil is back up to 112. Uh, so you know that's a challenge. So I think uh, you know we will have to work through some of the uh, you know challenges that we are seeing domestically. Uh, rather than just, uh, you know, being happy about the fact that, uh, you know, it was all related to only Europe and what was happening globally. But I think closer home, we have our own challenges. I don't think that these are 
unsurmountable but i think that uh, you know there has to be uh, a clear strategy a clear uh, policy momentum that has to come in to kind of stem the tide hmm. the hope would be to remain that a consolidatory phase would imply the market then had the potential to break out on the upside uh, do you see that happening after a couple of quarters or do you fear that maybe the market has gotten into some kind of multi quarter funk where it just keeps moving in a tight band and there isn't that much good news for it to break out Well, you know, Mitali. I think if you go back, uh, uh, you know, there was this phase of 10-12 years in India between 91 and 2002, when essentially the index continued to bounce around between 2,500 on the Sensex and 4,500. Uh, with the only exception that during the tech boom it went to 6000 and then came back all the way to 2500 and i hope that we don't get into that long a phase of consolidation where the markets were kind of range bound for like 10 12 years but i mean if you look at it it's already it's already been 4 years since we've been between the index level of 15 and 20000 i mean we've gone to 20 21000 twice and then we've you know come back here so i think for the time being uh, as i mentioned unless some of the domestic issues get sorted out uh, i think globally you know this overhang will remain and i think we will have to live with it uh, i don't think that there is any magic formula that issues in us and europe can be sorted out so soon so i think that is something that backdrop will always remain but despite that is there a potential that we can break out i think there is potential maybe if not immediately uh, you know maybe 6 to 12 months down the line uh, but for that a lot of the local uh, issues need to be sorted out i think that uh, the the current uh, funk that we are in uh, as far as policy paralysis is concerned needs to you know go out uh, we need to see some of the confidence coming back the investment cycle has to start to kick in again i think if that happens i i certainly feel that valuations do support that you know 6 months out uh, the market will be significantly cheaper for it to have the support to break out into a new range a large part of last week's rally was cut see technology green i mean the the it index is up nearly 9% is that a space you would put your bets on now or is enough done over there i think uh, you know it uh, has been a a, a good hedge uh, in in portfolios in the sense that uh, you know they are high quality companies the the rupee depreciation is definitely helping to put a floor uh, in terms of uh, you know the earnings growth um and i think that uh, you know there is potential upside in the sense that uh, at least the tier 1 companies have a lot of cash on their balance sheets and if they go out and acquire then i think that that cash will will be earnings accretive so i think there is potential uh, for uh, the it companies to give a decent return and uh, it's always a good counterbalance to otherwise uh, you know uh, generally a, a very domestically focused portfolio that most people have